We are Depero Futuristi, a project team at Carnegie Mellon's Entertainment Technology Center. Our partners include the Performa Online Arts Festival, the Museum of Arts and Design, and the Contemporary and Modern Art Museum of Trento and Rovereto, Italy. Our project is based on the work of Italian futurist Fortunato De Pero. Futurism, conceived in 1909 by F.T. Marinetti, idolized speed, motion, and industry. The futurists translated these concepts into every aspect of art and design and were devoted to smashing traditionally accepted structures. Fortunato De Pero was a talented mixed media artist whose pieces stand apart as vibrant and playful in a movement not necessarily known for its humor. One of the best examples of this is his marionette production, Bali Plastici. This was done originally in 1918, 11 performances in Rome. It was an extravagant, radical interpretation of, of puppets doing ballet. But the fact of the matter is, the final result was a little less than desired. In other words, Fortunato de Pero's vision was really beyond the technology of the time. So we actually had two deliverables this semester. The first was a reimagining of De Perlo's Bali Plastici for the Performa 09 Arts Festival. The second was to develop our own software, which anybody can use to create their own version of Bali Plastici. We actually took a trip to Italy. We were fortunate enough to get our hands on puppets that were recreations of De Perlo's originals. It was very useful for us to get a feeling of their size and their weight, and to get an idea of just exactly what movements each puppet was capable of. To translate the puppets into digital form, we took a lot of video. We used all these materials as a reference so that we could actually recreate the puppets. The Pharaoh has been our inspiration throughout, so we are using his original puppet design, but the stage sets and the graphic design for Toy Box Futuristy are a part of our reimagining. We wanted to make a software that everyone could use. We're giving a lot of control over the characters without having you to actually move every little piece, every second, every frame. Just give you the music, give you the stage, and you can do whatever you want. To record everything, we showed at the format. We used the toolkit. While we were recording, it was very similar to, to actual stage managing. Gotham would control the actual puppet movement, and I would give him specific cues. We ended up finding a lot of similarities between the recording we were doing with the software and an actual theater. Having this showcase at museum in New York City is pretty big and very exciting. Just seeing how they reacted and how they got excited and what kind of questions they had. And then we, there was a chance for us to do a live demo of the toolkit. The fact that the toolkit would be released in the future seemed to really excite them in the sense that they would have the power in their own hands to create something like that. That's what's really great about the software is that we can take what was done in 1918 and allow people to take ownership of it. 